Well, good morning. Another sunrise with Pastor Hayton here on the 4th of July, which means that America is celebrating their independence today. We're celebrating a birthday. And I thought that perhaps it would be appropriate to talk a little bit about America and have something a little bit patriotic, but I've decided I would just kind of close out what we've been talking about the past couple days about people that are really hurting. And there are many, many hurting people out there. I don't think the people that are hurting are necessarily hurting because they brought it on themselves. I don't think they're hurting because of some sin that they've committed. I don't think they're hurting because they deserve to be hurting. We all know that bad things happen to good people all the time. And we all know that uh, there are just a lot of things that seem to have no explanation. I can't explain to anybody that comes up and say, why did this happen to me? I don't have the answer, and there's nobody on earth that has that answer. So I try not to, uh, you know, minimize the fact that people are hurting for whatever reason. They're hurting financially, they're hurting physically, they're hurting emotionally, they're hurting spiritually. We have a world of suffering people I was thinking about, you know, we're familiar with our circle of friends and our family, those whom we associate with in our life here in America, and we do hear about a lot of people that are hurting. But my heart goes out to people in some of the third world countries that get up hungry and go to bed hungry, that watch their children die of starvation. They go without uh, clean drinking water, I think that uh, we've got to realize that the hurt goes beyond our family and our circle of friends and those whom we work with. There's hurt throughout the whole world today. And I don't like to be just necessarily uh, painting a dark outlook, but it's reality today that many people are in dire circumstances and suffering from all kinds of hurt. And so it's only appropriate that we would talk about Maybe what we can do is a caring, loving, compassionate person. And I do believe that, as I said, serving the Lord, it's really about being a loving and a caring and a compassionate person. What we can do to help alleviate somebody's pain. Well, I'm not an authority on that. I googled on the internet what to say and what not to say and there's a lot of authorities that would advise us, and I would advise you that if you're truly interested in knowing some of the dumb things that people say to hurting people, not to hurt them, but out of their ignorance of not knowing what to say, you could Google and read the same things that I've read. I'm not going to enumerate some of the things that I have read, and I know that well-intentioned people can sometimes say that which not only not only not helps the hurt, but maybe even adds to the pain. And we don't want to be guilty of that. Our most common response is, well, I'm praying for you. Now, there might be some comfort in that. I like to know when I'm going through a difficult time that people are praying for me. I do find some comfort in knowing that people care enough that they are praying for me. And another response that I think we make a mistake in, in not carrying through is, if I can do anything to help, just let me know. I don't know how many times I've heard that across the years, and I'm going to tell you that it's very unlikely that that person, no matter how bad their need is, no, bad, no matter how badly they're hurting, I don't think they'll probably call you and say, yes, there is something you can do. So I do think that we ought to be sensitive to the needs of our hurting fellow man and we ought to determine just what we can do and don't say, if there's anything I can do, let me know. Let's find out what we can do and do it. It might be, you know, as we said yesterday, uh, helping out with some random act of kindness or an act of kindness can go a long ways in alleviating hurt and you might just discover some way that you can show an act of kindness. It might be a, a beautiful greeting card with beautiful sentiment that uh, might be a blessing to them. It might be that you can go over and do some of the chores 
that need to be done to relieve them of some of the responsibility that they just don't feel like doing during the time of hurt. I'm going to tell you today that I believe as Christian people, we have the privilege of prayer, and we have the privilege of asking God how we can be used to minister to hurting people. My advice is that if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. And if you're concerned about a friend or a family member or a church family member that is hurting, ask God to show you what you can do and sincerely ask. I believe that you'll get an answer. Well, reach out to somebody that is hurting. Heavenly Father, the world is full of hurting people. All around about us, God, there are people that are suffering pain and misery. Help us, Lord, to know what we can do to reach out and to touch that one that is hurting today. Bless us today. Bless our nation, O oh God. Lord, we just need to turn back to God, and we pray that on this day of celebration of our, of our nation and our freedom, we'll recognize the importance of turning to God. Bless us throughout this day. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Well, we'll see you tomorrow now on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.